Some things you just take for granted. Your name, your birthday, the place you were born, simple things. But what if you didn't know any of them? That's the situation our next guest is in. However, her story is more than just missing names and dates. Abducted as a toddler, Marina Chapman was abandoned in the Colombian rainforest. Alone but for a family of monkeys, she grew up living wild until finally approaching hunters. Well, sadly, that encounter made things far worse. And today, with the help of her daughter, Vanessa, uh, Marina's here to tell her incredible story, which some have thought too extreme to be true. Um, but it is an incredible story. And, uh, and, and you've got it all down here in the book so we can really it's so complicated we'll just gloss over a, a mm -hmm. lot of it's it because it, yes it's complicated <laughs> so um marina is a name you gave to yourself because you have no information of uh, of, of who you are i just had the name in my head yeah. marina i don't know where it's coming from and and you claim that uh, around 1954 uh, you were i assume sort of playing in the garden of uh, of, of your parents I don't know, house in somebody's Columbia. garden yeah somebody's, somebody's garden. garden yeah um somebody. and uh, you were drugged and abducted um from that home at the age of four and what do you remember being taken how do you remember that i remember taken? waiting for my fifth birthday but then i i i would just block her the, with the white you say cloth. there was a hood you remember a hood um, of some sort it was a white cloth in my hands with something in it but that makes me feel very weak mm. unable to scream unable to move because i don't know why what was the smell makes you feel so poly yeah. Well, but, uh, whoever took you, you were taken then away to the jungle. Mm -hmm. And you're, you have these sort of memories, and again, you were very young, so these vague memories of, of being alone, wondering where on earth your mother is, is somebody going to come and get you? And it's at this point that you wake up and you are surrounded by 30 or so monkeys. I don't know how many, I couldn't count too many because, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think I were more than eight or more than ten or something. And were you were you, you know. scared at the time? Were you scared of the monkeys? What was your original uh, reaction to them? It was a mixed feeling. I was just you feel a scare, but then at the same time you feel someone's there because when you are lonely for mm. a long time, it you know, you feel a little bit of comfort. But then it's a little bit scared because they got power mm -hmm. and when they push you backwards, maybe they're trying to check if you are in danger or something. I don't know, they you know, seems to be curious. Well, they had to go through that process, I assume, yeah. as the, the, the tribe itself make sure that you weren't a threat. And there was one moment that you say there was a, b a breakthrough with, uh, with the monkey that you said was the, like the grandfather figure of, of the troop. Yeah, and that was he... you ate uh, 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 bark, herb, that was... Well, that he, burned you. Yeah, it burned me. Yeah, when you swallowed it and uh, the oh, tamarind. Oh, when you eat when you eat this this plant because yeah. I was quite hungry. I eat too many. Yeah. And eventually, this your stomach really hurts yeah. and makes you feel really, you know, cold and hot and. So thin. you were ill, and the monkey so was led you Ill. to to. But he was staring at me. Yeah. So, you know, and then he started to push me and follow me and you know like being aggressive. And I became quite a little bit scared because I wasn't sure what he was going to do to me. And he took me to the water and I was just trying to go backward to, to get my head out of the water and he kept pushing. I just thought, he just don't like me or, you know, you just feel they, they wanted to do something with you. And then after I drunk so much water, then I look at him and it didn't seem to be very aggressive you just saw it was like a calm. trust yes yeah, some suddenly yeah, you say something I changed his face and i thought he's not angry I'm, you know he wanted was, to look after you and one of the um, fondest memories that you have of that time was as you got older and you got stronger and obviously mm. behaving with the monkeys in the way that they do you could communicate them with sounds but also learning to climb trees oh, and one of your fondest challenge. memory is climbing up into the canopy and sitting up high amongst and just looking out oh, it was fantastic <laughs> You know when you try to climb trees for a long time, maybe I don't know how many times, but I did fell and scratching, scratching, and I asked eventually I managed to climb up through the, one of the roots there, you know, it grows out of the tree and that's very handy, and you, you know, you become good at but it. But you can remember, as I'm, because I, I, uh, how long were you with them I for? don't remember everything in the jungle, to yeah. be honest. We took a long time mm. to, you know, it just doesn't. Everything not registered in my head. How long do you Only think you the were, were with them for? How long do you think you spent time? We try to guess by the length of the hair. We think it was five years, 
But then we look at the length of the hair and we think it grows one centimetre more. So it's hard to tell. Yeah. It's hard to tell. I've had no concept of time it either is. in the I have no idea yeah. about Christmas. Well, I assume so that you, you come out of the... But because yeah. the way you got out, and this is where we will pray see the story, uh, uh, because uh, mm. there were some hunters arrived in the jungle and allowed you to follow them out, and you left. You didn't look back at your at the mm. monkey family as you left. You just mm. sort of... That was it. You were off, found some humans. I thought about going back at one point when they treated me badly, these hunters, they push me and, you know, yeah. carrying on with me and I disappoint sometimes, you think, you want to go back. Yes, where well, you were but better treated. You, mm. you, um, yeah. you were, the, the hunters sold you um, uh, to a brothel um, yeah. and uh, the, the, there you didn't fit in at all because you were too feral um, and, and escaped from there onto a life on the streets, eventually taken yeah. in by a criminal family, saved by a neighbour who got you into a convent and then to Bogota. Um, right. And then finally you, you managed to get in with a, a, a family that leads oh, you eventually. That was the best thing. Yeah, I'll bet. Oh, it was the best thing because when you loved and being accepted by the way you are, your behaviour and everything, people, they didn't expect changes from me straight away mm. well, which is they just accept me when mm. when did uh, your mum tell you about uh, 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 this has always been the yeah. story in the house yeah well we've always known it um just through day-to-day -day things so if we've been cooking and she picks up a certain ingredient <laughs> that reminds her of a time in a jungle we would hear about it then but it it does kind of make sense with how we've been raised so you know we never went to a pet shop <laughs> She caught us our first rabbit, which is a wild rabbit. What, by her hands? With her bare hands, yeah. yeah. It's 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 it was in the, in the boot on the way home. Constantly up the trees in the back garden. We were always <laughs> up the trees, yeah, and we still Is that are. true? Is that, is that, is that true? Is. You still climb trees? Yeah, with I her do, grandkids, yes. she's much quicker I know, some her. people, I, I go in private, sometimes I go with my grandchildren, <laughs> but sometimes a group of people stare at you and it can become quite embarrassed, so I try to keep hidden. She's oh, had a lot because, you, know, yes. you know, I'm not supposed to behave in it, in the way. What about going Going back, because you went back to try and find your biological family at one point, um, I did. and and with any success, did you? you oh, we got I closer, but got close, yeah, but no, few, but you haven't been able to chat them down. But you, in the very near future, you're going to see if you can find your mm. monkey family. I don't know what to yeah, call it. Yeah. Your well, I, I'm looking forward for that. I'm just hoping that will be alone. Is with that them. quite difficult? Because I mean, obviously, with sort of humans, you, know, you can track down nice. records. Yeah. But with when it comes to animals in a jungle, I'm not sure where you begin. Oh, it, feel, it feels a good feeling. <laughs> it's a good to feeling. go and maybe it, find it, the place you and know, see if that community yeah, is still there. No, yeah. it will be all right. I will, you know, be, believe me, when you live with danger, you just. Well, yes, they live. Yes. They did say to live for fifty live years, Captain Monkey. So I mean, yeah. there's a possibility you go there and be recognised. Yeah, that's they what's would really recognize. exciting. Yeah. That would be more, incredible. more than her finding her real family. She found out that these monkeys could still be alive. She might not look back at you this time <laughs> and just know. be off. Yeah, I straight back in amongst the yeah. Put her on a lead. <laughs> um, I want to point out yeah. that, uh, that this book has been written to highlight the horrors of human trafficking in South America, mm. and all the proceeds are going to charity. Um, and so, uh, so it's a it's a very worthy story and an extraordinary story. I'm sure you will agree. Uh, uh, this is the book we've been talking about, The Girl with No Name, an incredible true story of a child raised by monkeys. And thank you both very much thank for you. coming thank in. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Amazing.